Why, hello everyone, this is James coming at you with another awesome video about how to promote affiliate links online, okay? How to promote those affiliate links with digital marketing, okay? Today we're going to look at uh, Facebook ads, we're going to look at guidelines to run a profitable Facebook ad, okay? Eight guidelines for a profitable uh facebook ad now just as always remember to like share and subscribe like share and subscribe okay uh hit the bell so that you can receive notifications for when the next video is uploaded okay hit the bell hit the bell now if there's a video you would like for me to record please drop me a note uh, leave me a comment i do accept requests uh, uh, for videos, okay. I do accept requests. Remember, success leaves clues, okay. Success leaves clues. There was a study done, and they and they ident in the study they identified what were the common factors amongst all of the people who had achieved their goals, okay. What were some of the things that they all had in common? And some of the things that they all had in common was this. They, all of them had a positive mental attitude, PMA, positive mental attitude. Uh, <clears throat> you have to take massive action every day, every day, every day, every day, massive action. There is nowhere around that you have to kick those negative thoughts to the curb. Tell those negative thoughts, those neg that negative self-image to go kick some rocks. They are not welcome here. You must have a positive mental attitude. Remember, there is greatness within. You are designed for great things. Okay, You are designed for great things. You are designed to accomplish great things. All things work together for my good. Okay, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Everything that I touch will prosper. Okay, these are things you need to start saying about yourself. This is what you need to replace those negative thoughts with. Replace that negative self-talk with. I am designed for greatness. There is greatness within. All right, let's do this. Let's get on to the video, to the, to the uh, how to promote affiliate links with Facebook ads. Okay, now. There are different types of Facebook ads. Okay, you have these are the different types of Facebook ads that you have here. You have Carousel, uh, News Feed, uh, Instant uh, Experiment, Instant Experience, uh, Slideshow, and Image. Okay, so the Carousel you can do up to ten images uh, to showcase your product. News Feed it appears on the mobile. Our desk feeds, uh, instant experience, brand is put in front by logging quickly, taking up the entire screen. A slideshow, the videos, ad, um, that's for static images, okay. Uh, then an image is great for first timers. Uh, these are simple ads, okay, simple ad features. Okay, so here's what we're going to talk about. Getting, becoming familiar with the Ad Center. Establishing your goals, number two. Number three, make sure you fill out all key information. Uh, number four, the design of your ad. Uh, five, uh, audience, targeting your audience. Six, placements, where to place your ads. Uh, seven, your budget and scheduling. And then number eight, of course, is promoting the ad. Okay, number one, becoming familiar with the ad center. Now, it is extremely important that you become familiar with the ad center, okay? Uh, this is where you will actually uh, submit your ad and create the ad, okay? This is where all of this takes place, okay? Now, it's a tool, the ad, ma the ad manager tool. You must become familiar with it. Uh, the drop-down menu. Okay, there's a drop down menu on your business page. Okay, now you need to make sure that if you're not familiar with this, you need to become familiar with it. Okay, that's a log in to get in. 
uh, set up your business page, payment details, uh, interface. See how the interface runs. Okay, you need to become familiar with these. Okay, number two, establishing your goals. Okay, you must have your goals must be clearly defined. Must be clearly defined. Okay, there's just no way around this. This is how you will determine uh, if it is a, a success or not. So you got your ad goals uh, for your campaigns. Okay, now <clears throat> uh, see, choose basically okay, your lineup. Okay, you need to make sure you have your marketing goals. We just talked about that. Now you do a A-B testing. Uh, you know, you take the, uh, let's call it like a split test. You want one set may be blue, the other set may be green, and the other set may be red. And then you see which one works the best. You see which one gives you the best results. That's the A-B testing. Make sure you fill out all key information. It's extremely important that you fill out all information, including the name of your ad. Okay, fill out all necessary fields and the name of your ad. Every company has its own naming strategy, so you need to come up with a strategy for the name of the campaign. Okay, now uh, the ad objective. Okay, you need to make sure you know your target, uh, ad type, Okay, uh, here's an example of an ad type here. Okay, here's an example, and that's the kind of ad that you're going to submit. Okay, number four, the design of your ad. Now, you need to make sure that you take this into consideration. Okay, you need to know you can have designs, videos, and images, type of ads. Okay, uh, then I can now put time and effort into developing your ads. Developing your ad copy, you need to be creative. Uh, have a great call to action. It needs to be eye-catching and your text needs to be clear and straight to a point. Alright, this is a must when it comes to designing your ad. Your audience, how to target your audience. Okay, now you need to choose your preferred audience based on your ad objective. Okay, narrow down your target based on these factors. Location, age, income, education, behaviors. Then you need to tweak this until you get it right, and then you need to switch them out. Okay, switch it out. Switch it out. You don't want your ad to become stale. Okay, you, you're updating the ad. Okay, number six, choose your placement. Okay, your ad will appear. And it will be, uh, it will appear on the messenger app, in the news feed, or on the stories. Okay, this is where your ad will appear. Now, for the most, most views, you could, you should consider using fa Facebook automatic placement feature. Okay, they will choose for you. That's why it's called automatic. Uh, choosing your own placement will allow you. Okay, now once you once you be, once you become familiar with this, then you want to place it yourself. Okay, but when you first get started, you want to use the automatic placement. But then once you become familiar with this, you can choose your own placement, and this will give you uh, better targeting. Uh, because you will know your what your target audience is. So when you first get started, go with the automatic placement. But then once you really become familiar with this, you can uh, choose your own. All right. Okay. Seven. Set your budgets. Now here they do have budgets and schedules. Okay. Now uh, the budget can grow as big. It can be as big or as small uh, as you know. You can spend a large amount. Or you could do a small amount. Okay. It really depends on uh, what, how much you have. Okay, you can scale it. You can begin small, and then you can scale it up. Okay, so you got your budget. You plug in your schedule, plug it in, and then you can play around to find the sweet spot. Okay, you can like like look at what times may work better, uh, what days of the week, a weekday or a weekend. You can start to look at all these things to see. 
uh, which one gives you the greatest return of your investment. Uh, promoting your ad. Okay, now once you've got all that figured out, now you just start promoting the ad. Okay, you need to run the ad. Now using the Facebook uh, manager to measure your ad performance. Okay, now you need to keep track of your conversions. It will give you a whole lot of data. Okay, to help you to understand um, where the conversions are coming from. The more ads you create, the more data you will have. That is so true. And then you will get the most re uh, return of investment. Okay. All right. Do a quick review here. Now, in this video, we looked at uh, becoming familiar with the ad center. Extremely important. You need to become familiar with it so you know what, so you will know how to use it. Number two, establishing your goals. It is extremely important that you identify your goals and that you once you identified your goals then you put your strategy together put your campaign together uh, number three you need to make sure that you fill out all key information uh, and make sure that you've given your campaign uh, a name all right uh, then number four you need to design your ad now you may want to do several ads you know you run the same information just do an a b test you know you split it you know you may choose red and add number one uh, then add number two it may be green and then add number three it could be purple okay uh, you just do a variation you kind of tweak it a little bit and then you see uh, which uh, ad gets the best response then you run with that ad all right uh, number two target your audience make sure you want to identify what your audience is in the different categories for that okay age demographics, educational levels, rural, urban. Okay, these are things that uh, you, you need to make sure that you understand as it comes to your, your target, okay, as it comes to your audience. Uh, so you choose uh, uh, placement, okay, make sure you have the correct placement. Now, when you first start out, uh, you're going to do go with the automatic placements. And then you kind of find out which works best, and then you can switch uh, to placing it yourself because you have a, a good understanding as to you know what works. And then set your budget and and and, and scheduling. Okay, you make sure you set your budget, and then scale, then uh, schedule it. All right. And then number eight, promote the ad, promote the ad, promote the ad. All right. All right. So here in this video, we looked at different steps, eight steps. For running a successful Facebook ad campaign. All right. Now, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Let people know that we're here. If there's a video you would like for me to uh, create with regards to online marketing, uh, especially with affiliate links, uh, something with digital marketing, uh, drop me a line. Okay. Leave me a comment. Uh, get word to me that uh, you would like me to create something uh, with regards to uh, promoting affiliate links. All right. That's just absolutely uh, nowhere around it. You must have a PMA, positive mental attitude. I can do this. All things work together for my good. I am designed to do great things. No weapon formed against me shall, proper, shall prosper. These are examples of a good PMA, okay? These are examples of positive self-talk, okay? This is what you have to have, all right? Uh, uh, I want you to be able to say the dream is true. Great, 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 great it is to stand in youth by the starry stream, but the greater thing is to fight, 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 fight life through and to say at the end, the dream is true. I want you to be able to say with confidence, the dream is true. I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream. All right. Uh, again, if there's a video you'd like for me to create, uh, leave me a note. Leave me a comment. Uh, and then also, not only that, let me know what's working for you. Let me know what strategies are working uh, that you're using that are currently working where you're getting the best results with when it comes to promoting affiliate links. All right. Now, let me speak this blessing over you. Until we meet again, may the Lord continue to bless you. 
May he smile upon you. May he grant you his favor. May he give you his peace. And may he also continue to enlarge your territory. This has been James. Have a great week. Why, hello everyone. This is James coming at you again with another awesome video. Now today <clears throat> we're looking at <clears throat> how to generate uh, uh, the best tricks, tips, and hacks for generating uh, Facebook ads. Okay, how to generate Facebook ads for success. Okay, uh, now here this is what we're going to do in this video. All right. Now, just as always, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, okay? Uh, hit the bell so that you can receive notifications of uh, new videos that have been uploaded, okay? Uh, <clears throat> success leaves clues, okay? Success leaves clues. And uh, you must, some of the clues that they leave is this. You must take massive action. You have to kick that negative self-talk, those negative thoughts to the curb, that negative self-image has to be kicked to the curb and you must replace it with positive ones. Such as, I am designed for great things. I will accomplish great things. I am destined for greatness. Okay, these are examples of some positive PMAs, some positive I am statements, okay? You must tell those negative thoughts to go kick rocks. Those negative thoughts are not welcome here. No shape, form, and fashion. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started with this video uh, about Facebook ads. Okay. The hacks, tips and hacks for Facebook ads to generate uh, great success with digital marketing, online marketing. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, first of all, let's talk about the different types of ads uh, that one can have with Facebook, okay? Uh, so you have uh, Carousel, you have the News Feed ads, you have Instant Experience, uh, uh, the Slideshow, and then Image, okay? Now, this first one here, you can have up to 10 images showcasing your product. Okay, News Feed. Uh, it will appear in the mobile or the desktop feeds, okay? Uh, instant experience. Uh, your brand will be front and center, taking the entire screen, okay? Uh, slideshow, the video ads uh, from static images, all right? And then, oops, let's go back. Uh, images. Now, image ad is great for and people that are new to using Facebook ads, okay? Okay, people that are new. All right, now, uh, so we want to cover these three items here, okay? Uh, uh, trying Facebook ad markup. We're going to look at the markup. Uh, creating look-alike audiences. This is extremely important. This is a great way to uh, get a great return on your investment. And we're going to learn the budget uh, optimization, okay? All right, number one, uh, try and Facebook ad markup. Okay, now this is a great place where you can kind of go in and get a great preview of the ad that you have created. Okay, so where you go in, you create ads, and then you can get a preview of the ad that you have created, and then kind of see which ad looks better than others, okay? This is a great place. Uh, to post, uh, to post your, uh, to become a pro at designing Facebook ads. Okay. So you want to master this. Okay. And then, uh, uh, check out the Facebook ad size cheat sheet. They have a cheat sheet here. Uh, make sure you utilize that, especially on the different size options for your ads. Okay. Number two. Uh, look like audience. Now, this is extremely important. Okay, this is a great way uh, to get a good return of your investment. Okay, now you're going to be able to show your ads to a similar audience. Okay, similar audience. Okay, 
Now, you need a list, and of this list of your existing customers, okay, you need a list of your existing customers. Now, this list may come from your email list. It may uh, come from a loyalty program, uh, other kind of sources of other lists that you have. And then you need to car uh, categorize them in different uh, categories, okay? You need to categorize them, then do a subdivide within each category. Uh, then you can uh, take your newsfeed ads and target each category. Okay, target each category here. Uh, uh, each audience uh, list, uh, you create a look-alike audience. Okay, each audience list, create a look-alike audience, and then create a specific goal. Okay, create a specific goal for for each ad and each uh, group, okay. Uh, number three, uh, Facebook budget optimization. Okay, now here there in Facebook, it provides you a very detailed guide on budget optimization. Now keep in mind, uh, the budget, it's, it's really, it's up to what you have available, okay. You can uh, have a small amount, or you can have a big amount, okay. It's it's really uh, uh, has a lot to do with you know how much you have available, and then they can work with you based on the budget that you have available to work with. Okay, uh, find it's much easier to create and optimize. That is so true. With the optimization, with that guideline, it will help you to create your campaigns. Okay, to create them and to optimize the campaign. Now go through the resource that Facebook provides. Uh, it will explain the different options. Uh, it will optimize delivery. And then you have scheduling options. Okay. This is ex very key. Very key. It, you can uh, explain the different options that are available to you. Optimize delivery. What are the best times? And then schedule. Okay. You can schedule it. Okay, now that you've done that, what's next? Okay, so what you, this is what you do is next here. You explore the interface and, and go over the various options. Okay, you experiment with the Facebook app manager. Do your experimentation to see, you know, what works. And if I use this button, what happens? If I use that button, what happens? Okay, then launch your campaign. Launch your first campaign. And remember that there's always a learning curve. There's a learning curve, all right? Okay, so this is what we talked about in this video, okay? Use the mock-up, Facebook app mock-up. Use that mock-up. This is, really helps you to become familiar with, you know, the different features that are there. Uh, create a lookalike audience. This is a great way to get a good uh, return on your investment. Okay, you're kind of looking at what works, what doesn't work. Um, and so this is this is a, a really, really, really good tool. And then um, uh, learn the budget. Okay, learn what options you have, okay, when it comes to, to your budget. Okay, there are different levels of uh, advertising, and it's all based on the budget. Okay, uh, it's just based on your budget. All right. Okay, great. So here in this video, we looked at different hacks and tips for creating a Facebook ad. Okay, creating a Facebook ad. Okay, so we looked at how to market on social media, uh, how to do digital marketing, tips and hacks for digital marketing, social media marketing, uh, online marketing. Okay, and this is for affiliate links. Okay, for affiliate links. Now, if there's a video you would like for me to create, please uh, drop me a note, or leave me a comment uh, in the comment section. Also, I'd like to know what tools, what strategies are currently working for you. Okay, share it with the community. Let the community know what, 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 what's working for you. All right. Uh, remember, you must have a PMA, positive mental attitude. There's just absolutely no way around it. You must have a PMA positive mental attitude nowhere around it 
Uh, I am designed to do great things. There is greatness within me. I am destined for great things. All things work together for my good. Everything that I touch prospers. Okay, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. These are examples of some good I am statements. Okay, examples of what you need to say. Some good self-talk. Good positive self-talk. Okay. So you can have a, a, a great self-image. Okay, you must have a positive self-image. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, if there's video, if there's video you like me to create, drop me a line. Success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. All right, let me speak this blessing over you. Until we meet again, may the Lord continue to bless you. May he smile upon you. May he grant you his favor. May he continue to give you his peace. And may he also continue to enlarge your territory. This has been James. Have a great day.